is the moment of sweet aloha. My love longer. special ceremony, dignitaries about to take place. But today, it is for Dwayne and Carolyn as we unite them in marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, you may sit. Aloha. We have come together this day in the presence of God 
to witness and bless the joining together of Dwayne and Carolyn in holy matrimony. Matrimony is a union of husband and wife in heartened comfort to be given to one another. <coughs> Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into an advisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purpose in which it was meant. Dwayne and Carol, the Hawaiian day has been an iconic symbol of our local spirit, a spirit that not only talks of hospitality, but of love, trust, and honor. These lays that I have made, the tea leaf, the Hawaiians believe that it's a purifying or a spiritual cleanser and wine with shells. As we stand next to the beach, we have something of the beach which are the shells and the tea leaf, which is a special blend to all Hawaiians. I, at this time, Let us caught by it. It is a quiet understanding, mutual confidence, the sharing and forgiving. It is loyalty to good and bad times. It settles or left the perfection and makes allowances for human weaknesses. Love is content with the present. It hopes for the future. It does not brood over the past. It is the day in and day out chronicles of irritations, problems, compromises, disappointment, big victories, and working towards common goals. If you have love in your life, it can make up for a great many things that are missing. If you don't have love in your life, no matter what else there is, it's not enough. Three, will you take Carolyn to be your wife? Pledging to love, comfort, and honor her in sickness and in health. Forsaking all others, be faithful only to her, as long as you both shall live. Carolyn, will you take blame to be your husband, pledging to love, comfort, and honor him in sickness and in health? Forsaking all others, be faithful only to him, as long as you both shall live. And this time, let's do the sand ceremony so we can step this way here. Today, this relationship of Nick and Carolyn is symbolized through the pouring of these two containers into one. Container one representing Udoin, your family, your Ohana, and your friends. That you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. Container number two represents Carolyn, her Ohana, and friends. And all that you were, all that you are, and all that you will ever be. As these containers are poured into the third container, the individual container no longer exists, but will be joined together as one. Just as these grains of sand can never be separated and put the food into their original containers, so need it that is created in this
provided health, happiness, and prosperity that you need is one. This we humbly ask in your name, Jesus Christ.